Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you a unit of, pat a unit of work pattern in ASP.NET Core. So uh, create a new project in Visual Studio and uh, uh, add a unit of work pattern in ASP.NET Core. Actually unit of work pattern is, uh, is applied on that repositories pattern. So uh, first, first of all uh, create a interfaces and repositories uh, after that, uh, you can create a public properties for uh, the repositories and uh, you can implement your interface uh, that's name is the unit of work and uh, collaborate all these repositories in a single uh, domain. Uh, uh, the name is unit of work. So here is a file, uh, text file. So first of all, create a student uh, class and in which you can add uh, two properties looking like this and remove the third property because there is no need. So here is two properties ID and the name and after that you can create a new folder. The name is data uh, or you can say infrastructure. Infrastructure it means you can add interfaces in this folder in it. Okay. So first of all, create I student repo and that interface is type public. Okay. So uh, in int, uh, interface, you can add some properties like get all get by ID insert update delete. Okay. So resolve the issue by uh, using namespaces control dot and resolve issues after adding infrastructure or you can say student repo add a new class that is data for the data context class there is context and just copy the context class from my file and there is context class just copy this and paste it here here we have context uh, db context resolve the issue namespace and remove the properties courses and the student courses only one class is there that is student also uh, on configuring uh, property uh, on configuring override method is delete only one db set is there that is student okay after that you can uh, add a services uh, folder uh, in which you can add repositories for the interfaces so add class that is student repo uh, student repo is actually implemented by uh, implemented from i student uh, interface i student repo interface so just control dot uh, two times for implementation and for adding namespaces so here you can add uh, the context class uh, to access the data or you can say uh, to communicate with the database so context equals to uh, private context actually context is actually exist in the data section so use control dot again and project dot data folder and underscore context also use uh, constructor features by using this tooltip there is yeah automatically build it uh, by the visual studio features okay now after that uh, you can add interface for the unit of work. So also uh, you can add methods in the uh, student repo. So just replace these um, methods, empty method with the filling methods. There is and that delete uh, student get all students and insert we have where we have a context class to communicate with the Lambda expressions with the databases. Okay. So after the student repositories, you can add a new item. So in the infrastructure, first of all, add a new item that is interface and add unit of work. So I unit of work. Okay. In unit of work interface, add public property for the student repositories. Okay. So uh, here we have uh, I student repo and I student repo student repository for the only the get method uh, get uh, properties 
and also you can add another method for the context save changes for you can add save method just implement that unit of i unit of work uh, with the unit of work class unit of work repositories so just under the section uh, service and in the class unit of work okay in uh, uh, implemented by the i unit of work interfaces control dot control dot again for implementing here we have the method is save is exist and the student repo is the public property uh, default empty but you can add a context class again context uh, implement in the constructor it's a good thing to implement a unit of work pattern in your uh, project must to add a unit of work pattern in your project just after that uh, use student repo i student repo and underscore student repo is a private pro, uh, private property and return that property if the student null if student null then return as it is student repo uh, if it is not null then get uh, as it is uh, private property and if it is null then pass a new uh, object to the student repo with the context so context so initialize that student repo i mean to say that so just removed it and in the startup file in the application uh, json uh, application settings.json file add a connection string and in the uh, startup.cs file add a connection string use sql server and a transaction property for the uh, dependency injections so just change the name of the database that is unit of work example also change service method services.add db context with the context class that is actually actually exist in the data section data folder use sql server namespace i unit of work and unit of work repository that is the uh, dependencies that is the dependency injection you can inject it here okay that's fine after that you can add unit of work in a home controller section just uh, migrate your database migrate your project and add migrations after that you can use unit of work in a home controller section okay so oops battery is saving uh, server saying mode and uh, home controller section private unit of work i unit of work uh i unit of work okay you know the work and that unit of work is constructed oops getting error it is not nexus uh, it is not accessibility error oh, i want to say that you know the work i unit of work uh, interface actually it is not a uh, that is default interface is internal so must to make a public interface so just open i unit of work uh, interface in the infrastructure folder and uh, make public to for the public uh, to accessibility here just open i unit of work and make public okay just after that you can uh, retrieve the student repo and with their student repo methods that is get all so students i unit of work dot student repo dot get all method so thank you guys for watching this video thank you very much for watching